this uniform motion. We have Aristotle fallacy. Now Aristotle uh, gave his ideas, his view. And why this is called fallacy? Because there is some flaw in his argument. The question about what is the force or the how the motion of the body is governed, it was somewhat you know discussed by Aristotle. And then Galileo came in the 17th century and he gave, uh, the, you can say the flaws he cleared. And then Newton came, which gave rise to Newtonian mechanics. Basically, the what Galileo has thought, or what he has uh, posed in front of uh, us in the 17th century, this is the foundation of Newtonian mechanics. So, what happened? Aristotle, he was a great thinker. He thought that if a body is moving, Something external is required to keep it moving. He gave uh, certain you know reasons also. He said that arrow shot from a bow, it keeps flying since the air behind the arrow keeps pushing it. And uh, you know people that time they might have believed. And most of his ideas, Aristotelian ideas and motion, they are proven wrong today. But because he started, we need to understand what he said. The Aristotle law is like this. An external force is required to keep a body in a motion. And uh, what is the flaw? You know, anyone of uh, common experience or common intellect will, will go with uh, what Aristotle has said. You know, even a small child who is playing with simple, say, non-electronic toy car on a floor, he knows that he has to uh, either pull it or push it, say, constantly drag the string, toy car, with certain force in order to keep it going. Now, if it ha he has a string and he releases the string, it will come to rest. This is common to all uh, terrestrial uh, motion also. We understand that there are certain external forces. There are certain external forces. This seems uh, to be needed to keep bodies in motion. And uh, all bodies, they eventually come to rest. So, what is the flaw? See, the moving toy car come to rest because of the external force of friction on the car by the floor which is opposing its motion. So, in order to counter this force, the boy or the child has to apply certain external force on the car in the direction of motion. When the car is in uniform motion, there is no external force acting on it. The force which child has exerted or uh, you know he has pushed, the friction force and this force will get cancelled out. So, if there were no friction, the child would not require to apply any force to keep the toy car in uniform motion. So, we have opposing force like friction in solid, viscous force in liquids or fluids that are present in natural world. And that is why we know that external forces are required to, to overcome this frictional force in order to have a uniform motion. So, this is the Aristotle fallacy. He coded this spectacle experience in the form of just basic argument. And if you want really to have uh, forces and motion and the nature and the laws, then we have to imagine a world in which uniform motion is possible with no friction force opposing. And this is what Galileo did.